Oh, sorry. I had to restart Discord because Discord is stupid. So give me one more second. You guys, you can share me, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I mean, when, uh, I, when I hear you, you're cutting off pretty fast at the end of your sentence. So it's a little funny. But... Yeah, it's because I'm, I'm, I'm on push talk, unfortunately. Oh, oh okay. Right, because the way it works is um, my mic picks up whatever I say, regardless of if I'm holding down the key or not. But you only hear what I say when I have the key or when I'm holding. Oh, my God, you know what I mean? Oh, I see. All right. Um, okay, hang on. What was I just doing? Oh, I need to. Yeah. Could you could just be muted in the Discord table? Like regularly, and then unmute if you need to talk to us for some reason. I don't know if that's a good. Uh, that 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 um that is much more complicated to do for very little gain, especially because I'm not supposed to be talking. To you. Okay. It's it's what I did originally. It's what I did on the first stream, and that involved a lot of switching back and forth and things, and that wasn't. Okay. All right. So Discord is set up. And Joseph, we'll need to be back that to the tactical map for ship placement. Oh, right. Where yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. But I like this map then. There we go. Okay. I should be coming in now. Uh, oh, I'm getting some bad latency here. Yeah, that's what it was when Joseph was connecting to, but then it got a lot, it got well under 200. Oh, regular. it's yes, it, it's it's still loading me in. Yeah. That was the problem. Okay, I have you at 100. Right. Yeah, I'm good. Here we go. Um, let me just get the camera set. Go. All right. Um, I should be ready to go. Are you two both ready to go? Yes. All right. I'm going to post that we're going on Facebook and then I'll come us in. All right, going live in 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15. Hello there, citizens of the Federation, and welcome back to another stream of State of the Federation. I am your host, Ella, and with me today is, of course, one of my wonderful co-hosts, Joseph, and his opponent for the day, Jeff of Facebook Group Fame. How are you guys doing? Pretty good. Glad to be here. So far, so good. <laughs> excellent. Excellent. So, um, really quickly, as usual, before we start the game, I want to go over the fleets really quickly. So, starting with Joseph's fleet, we have uh, a bio ship, a generic bio ship with uh, Gen Con, Con C6, Yellow Alert, Sabotage Systems, Organic Conduits, and Integrated Board Technology Holding Threat Analysis. Moving on down to a second ship. That we have the USS Hathaway with John Luke Picard 9, the classic. Maxwell Forrest is Admiral. Systems upgrade holding a power grid. Arsenal holding Type 8 phaser ray and upgraded phasers. Pegasus William T. Riker. And Christopher Hobson from the new starter set. Moving over to Jeff's fleet, uh, in some ways similar. 
Come on. There we go. Uh, we have bioship beta holding consing reinforced shields and pardon me, additional phaser arrays. A Ferengi shuttle, a generic one, with Captain Haron, I think is how you say it, Kiafat Amansur as an admiral, Tokir Torpedo Fusilade, the Lone Hunt, and T9 Energy Converter. Uh, just Oh, for crying out loud, not this again. Is a Cleon Ferengi Burrell class, captained by who else but Calvin Hudson, uh, holding Ramaticlon, Cargohold, Drex, Goroth, Goval, Ferengi Photon Torpedoes, and Mumps. All right, so with that all cleared up, I am going to turn the game over to you two. Uh, good luck to you both. All right, here we go. <laughs> hey, hey, Joseph, I just remembered one other thing we didn't talk about beforehand, which is my fuselage um, and the interaction with sabotage systems. Uh, my understanding is if you play that on me, it impacts my primary weapon, but it also impacts fuselage. So it also to... does impact fuselage? It, it does. So fuselage would go down yeah. to two oh. in the same way that Okay, that's what I thought would... too. Okay, good. Just wanted to clear that up. All right, I guess we're ready to place. All right. Uh, just to clear something up for the for the for the folks at home, these are all asteroid field obstacles. They're just generic obstacles. So, oh, okay. Are these yeah. okay? Got it. Yeah. That's that's how we're playing in this tournament. The it's it's not the obstacles rules at all. They they just function as generic ones. Got it. Should all right, so shuttle goes down first. Okay. All right. Oh, uh, let's see. I, I rolled. I have initiative, so I don't know what that means about the cons. Uh, I guess it doesn't really matter. So, so I guess we both place at six, and so. Uh, yeah. So you have initiative. So your con goes first, and then. All right, and I'm good to go. Okay. This one works for you? Yeah, I love it. Okay, I'm going to start the timer. Oh, yeah, thanks for thinking of that. We're on our way. Actually, no, we're not, set, we're not starting the timer until dials are set. Oh, yeah, right. right, sorry. That's good.
Okay, so I've got an initiative and uh, I'll start with my shuttle. All right, timer is going. Oh, thanks. All right, perfect. Believe it or not. And I'll dock. Give my bio ship an ox. Oops. And my uh, my Burrell. Go one straight. And I'll take an invade. And that'll do. So it means they're the yeah. You, but you still move last, right? Yeah. When I have initiative, your Picard is 12 and your con is 13. One forward. And one forward. And uh, no action. So, okay. Uh, my bio ship will take a green one straight. Through the ox. And I'll take my shuttle transfer action to move these four cards, everything but my captain, onto the bio ship. And I guess that's it. Okay. Um, okay, so back to dials. All right. Um, okay, so initiative flips. Well. All right, my barrel. Over the yellow one straight again. And since I'm range one to two, I'm going to malt to send crew onto my bio ship. Um, I'm just going to send two guys. I'm going to send Ramadaclon and Drex. And I'm going to use Goval to keep from discarding malt, so I'll dump Goval instead.
And that's it for my burial. Um, okay, so it's, uh, so you caught, so these guys have the same captain skill, right? Let's see, you, this time you have initiative, so, uh, it's con and then, oh, sorry, it, it's, yeah, yeah, they have the same, right, they're both 12. Oh, sorry. Um, Khan will do a two forward and, um, evade. We'll do a four forward and then another one forward with forest. And you're up. Okay. One straight. Um, and I will get in the practice of Drex, I guess. Not gonna matter. All right. Not much happened in here. Uh, yeah, okay. Back to dials. Okay. All right, I'm locked. All right, me too. Uh, my Burrell, you don't have any activation phase things, do you? I don't. I uh, know. I think I just have a planning phase, uh, which is not. Oh, yeah, yeah, you have sabotage systems and you have that elite. Is that yellow alert start of the combat phase? Okay. And then, yeah, yellow alert is start of the combat phase. Okay, my Burrell reveals a three turn left. And 
and we'll cloak. And that's it. Okay. Pass away. Does three bank. And then uh, and it will take a um evade and then con will do a one bank. And we'll also take an evade. All right, you're up. Okay, Bioship will... Take a two left turn. And I'll Drex. And I guess that's it. I moved right onto my cloak token. I guess I'll just leave it there for the next turn. Don't want to disturb things. All right, I guess we're on to dials again. All right, sounds good. Okay, so I have initiative. Okay, which means my ships have the same captain skill. So you can pick whatever order you want. But uh, when you have initiative, um, mine's a 13 and yours are 12. Yeah. This is one of those times I wish I had a little better eye for the uh, maneuvering, but I guess that's always true.
All right, let's see how this works. All right, my dials are good. All right. Me too. Go ahead. All right. So where are we on initiative? Did you flip it? Uh, so it's mine this turn. Okay. So I move last and I'm only one with 13. Okay. I'll start with my Burrell. I did a three bank right. So it looks like I cleared the obstacle. You didn't the uh, you didn't overlap it. <laughs> oh man. Okay. Oh, so my eye was good, but my reading of the card was bad. All right, I guess uh, I'm going to adjust that slightly with an echo. Does it look like I can get over there with a one back? That's close. All right. Um, I don't think I can. So, um, so what I'm, what I'd like to do is to try a one back echo, right? With my barrel, but if it doesn't fly, um, if, if that doesn't fit, um, I'm not quite sure how we play sort of manners wise, rules wise, as far as deciding not to do an echo after. If I measure, do you feel like I'm committed to an echo? Um, you can't echo off the, you can, you can, you like, you can fiddle it around, right? To get it into the space. But once oh. it jumps over, then you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. So I guess I'll bring this guy out and look. I don't think that's going to fit. If I go back as far as I can, yeah, that's not going to work. OK. Well, I will uh, get a target lock on your bio ship then. Seem to work. I was hoping to do Goroth, but I didn't read that it was one to two instead of one to three. That was my usual plan there. Uh, Okay, so you have initiative and you can move in either order. Right, so Bioship will do a one bank. And 
And my action will be um, my action will be to use thread analysis the battle stations. And then Hathaway uh, is going to move one back, and I'll disable the power grid uh, to not take the ox. And then my action will be to re-enable um, the power grid. And then I guess I have a Picard action, so I'll take uh, 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 and it's caught. Okay, I did uh, two straights. I didn't do a three straight. Looks like we got each other's bio ship pointers. And oh wait, I still have to take an action. So I'm sorry. I will uh, Drex as my action. Looks to me like that obstacle's obstructing us. Uh, it's obstructing my shots. I don't. Oh, it's closest to closest. Uh, yeah, you measure within. Arc it's closest right to now. closest in arc, though, in right? Arc. So yeah. it's actually yeah. obstructing mine and not yours. Okay. Yeah, I agree. I'm okay with that. All right. Uh, I don't get Ramada Um but I do get to attack first. Uh, so I guess we go on to um, start of combat phase things. Which... Yeah, so I'm not going to take the battle stations. Okay. All right. Um, well, I guess I will start the attack. I don't get Lone Hunt because I'm in range one of my other ship. So I guess I just get a six die unobstructed Drex attack. Um, I'll do my primary weapon with my bio ship. And I'm, uh, I guess that's it. Okay. So I roll three of eight die because it's range three. Okay. And you have the battle station. 
Uh, okay, I won't spend it. So that's my shield. Okay. Um, then after my first primary weapon attack, I will take a second one with additional phaser arrays. So I disable it to attack at minus two. <clears throat> and uh, I guess we'll rule them. I'll do my Drex to turn the battle stations to a crit. So two crits and a hit. Okay, so I'm three of eight dice again. Okay, one, so I take two crits. One, two, Uh, whenever you execute a maneuver that causes you to overlap another ship or obstacle token, suffer one damage. And power disruption, receive an ox token. Okay. Fire ship. Hmm. Now you, ox. Oh, that's the other ship. Okay. That's not the one with the power grid. I wouldn't think, if, if that had been the ship with power grid, I don't. I wouldn't think you could use it. A second time in a turn, is that right? Yeah, good question. Um, okay, so you're gonna get four evade dice, and you're going to repair. No, you don't have an ox, but you're gonna. Oh, you would have an ox, so you're gonna get four. Okay, yeah. So wait, I'll wait. shoot at my, the my, my battleship. My battleship doesn't get more evade dice. Oh, oh, because it's range three and obstructed. Yeah. Range three and then obstructed, yeah. So I will attack. Um, the barrel's obstructed too. Yeah, so it gets one extra die. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so six on the barrel. Well, I'll take it. I'll spend the battle stations. Wait, did, didn't you spend those on the? Oh, no, you didn't. You let it go through. Yeah. Ooh. That'll be painful. So I get. Six dice? Yeah. I think. Yeah. No, that's seven. Strange two? Oh, one, that was range two. You're right. All right, and you got six hits through, huh? You still take three, so <laughs> just enough. I guess I should have evaded instead of that target lock. Okay. You got that's three whole hits, right? Bring these down here to Did you have crits in your in your roll? Uh, mine were all hits. Okay, so I take three regular hits and I die.
And you can still do a red maneuver, right? You have something here. I, I can do a red maneuver with the Hathaway. I have yeah. an ox on the you, you could do organic conduits too. Oh, I see. Yeah, that's true. Okay, so we're at the planning phase now. Yep. And it swings around to be your initiative, which means our captain skills are the same for these guys. But you still go last. Okay, I will... Um, Use the sabotage systems at the top of the planning phase to flip your um, attack values around. Okay. So I'm attacking at two and defending at six. So I guess I get my loon hunt now. Sixty eight. We heard that a little bit, Ella. I just heard you say 68. Sorry about that. I had to hit the control key to copy something. <laughs> it wasn't very informative. Um.
Okay. One sec. Hathaway. I was doing a four forward and will evade and battle stations. Con doing a two forward. Just in range three. Uh, that clears the onx. And he will do a one bank. Can you double check you're in range for forest there? Uh, yeah. Yeah, that looks good, eh? Yep, that looks good. I agree. Okay. Yeah. Oh, shit. All right. Okay. All right. Um, I did a three bank left. Looks like it catches it at range two in an arc. Is that the criteria? Uh, yeah, oh yeah, true. That is the, the arc thing. Yeah, it definitely catches them, and yeah, it's range yeah. two. So I'm in range one for you to shoot me, and range two for me to shoot you. Yeah. Undamaged and evade and a battle station. I don't think I'm going in this round. No plus I'm sabotaged or anything. Okay, um, I'm gonna. I'm gonna hope to be able to outmaneuver you later. Um, I will uh, re enable my additional phaser arrays. That's my only action. So combat phase, I don't have anything. Oh, I do have this. I'm not going to use that. Um, so your attack? Yep. So my primary weapon value is two, and I add one for Loon Hunt. So, uh, I don't have any other quality here. Uh, you're not giving me an arc there. Okay, I guess I'll just roll three dice primary weapon attack. See if I can get something through. One hit. Oh, and you have that thing re-enabled, right? Yeah. So I that guess I'll action. roll just in case. Oh, yeah, you're right. Okay, roll and evade. Okay, I am not going to use that thing. Okay, so the Hathaway is range one, so six. Five. Sorry, three hits, two crits. 
three hits, two crits. Okay, so that's a. Uh, so I lose all five. I lose five shields, and then my reinforced shield lets me immediately repair one of them. Yeah. So uh, I'm not. So let's. So the timing probably is you have yeah. to use the bioship beta. Oh. Oh. Okay. Ability. Nice. Uh, so you roll. So first thing you do is roll your defense right. dice, I guess. <laughs> right. Thank you for that reminder. Um, yeah. Okay. That's right. So I'll do compare results and then by a ship. Yeah. Roll, roll, roll first. I agree because I don't know whether I suffer damage until the compare results is done. All right. Serves me right for ignoring them. Um, yes, I will happily use my Bioship Beta ability first to cancel one regular hit. Do you have any of those? So, that's the blank. So, that's one hit gone. So, two hits and two crits? Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, so... I've suffered three or more damage from a single attack. So first my four shields get destroyed and then one of them gets repaired. So I'll take off three shields. And you grab an ox, I guess, which is yeah, uh, yeah. important in a way. Right. So that leaves me with three shields, which I'll put out there now. All right. So uh, I have an end phase thing I'd like to do. I didn't even consider my Kayafet action. I guess that's always worse than a phase. Yeah, so I will. Um, Disable T9 energy converter in the end phase to remove my ox and repair one shield. So I've got four shields left. Disabled T9. I think that's disabled. Yeah, disable this guy. Okay. I guess we're on to uh, tiles again. Uh, yeah. And your sabotage system, that was a discard? Right? Yeah, sorry, that's flipped. Glad to see that one go. I wasted my barrel there, but I guess I was taking a shot on the dice.
All right, I'm down. Okay. So I've lost track of it. Uh, and as to it. did we flip in? Is it my initiative? <laughs> I don't remember at all. I, I never. I think it. so. Okay. So there we go. So your ship's moving in either order. Okay. So uh, con will do a three straight. Did he do a three straight? No. Yes, there it goes. Sorry, there's lag. And uh, he will regenerate the... Um, because you'd overlap the jostled navigator. Oh, nice. Okay. You could flip your other crit because it happened right away. Oh, yeah, right. Okay, so we'll flip that. Uh, and then the Hathaway is going to do a four forward. And then it will do a one bank. the ship action. Picard will take a battle station and then the Hathaway ability will take a evade and I will uh, eat the ox with the power grid. That's a nice combo. The uh, power grid thing. Okay. All right. Well, I did two turn left. And I will Drex. Oh no. <laughs> Just hit some keyboard. There we go. Sorry. Okay. Um, so I Drexed. And I don't think I have anything else. So combat phase. Got a lot of dice here. That's right, eight. One for Lone Hunt, one for Range One. Yeah. So I'll roll eight. Yep. Okay, so one Drex to a crit and the others to hits. Six. Yep, five and one. Okay. I will roll my A dice. Uh, I will cancel a hit and then, uh, so that's five. Yeah, four and one. Okay, so my shields are gone because I had four because of um, the uh, systems upgrade. Oh, yeah, right. Oh, did I do that wrong? So I take one Sorry. crit to my hull.
That's the one you already had on your visor. Uh, okay, I got an aux. Wait, Joseph, that's, I think that's the one you already had on your visor. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Okay, so I'll yeah, take yeah, this you, one. <laughs> you drew from the face down deck of one. Yeah. Flip. Uh, red maneuvers count, uh, turn maneuvers count as red maneuvers. Okay. And this one is back here. Okay. Um, my second attack, so I'll, I'll do my additional phaser areas thing. And I've already used my lone hunt, so I'll take three of these off. So I'm rolling five dice with Drex quality and no crit conversion. Oh. Oops. Two hits. Okay. I roll one of eight dice. And it's not a, so I take two hits. And that puts me at. One haul. Yeah. Just Well, we're at dials, I guess. Yeah, I guess so. I'm trying to line up the view here to see what your result will be. All right, I guess that'll work. Okay, my dial set. Okay, I'm set. I don't think we have to worry about the initiative thing here. Please. Uh, yeah, and my power grid is disabled. Oh, okay. so Hathaway is doing one reverse. You flip it uh, All right. Go. 
and the bio ship is doing a back to the left. And he will regenerate this. That's on. Oh, it is your move. Okay. And your power grid was disabled, so you you took the oxygen. So I had an ox, so I didn't get to do any other stuff. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, I'm not quite sure what's going to happen here, but I did a one straight. Impressed. Which hopefully will bump and move me straight back. Yep. So I guess I'll just sit there. Yeah. I don't know if I'm in your arc or not, but hopefully it won't matter by that point. And I don't get an action, and I don't have additional phase arrays anymore. So uh, I guess I get eight dice with no quality. I'm not rolling them yet. All right, I guess this will do it, won't it? You don't hit. It's the greatest uh, you've been robbed. <laughs> it can happen. There it is. Uh, yeah, there three it is. Hits. There's three. Good game. All right. That was fun. Good game. Yeah, really fun. Oh, man. That, uh, that forest in a, in a maneuvering battle is nasty. Good, though. I'm impressed. <laughs> Thank you. So what, what I was thinking um, the turn before, obviously you could have done a reverse or, uh, or gone past me like that. And I was thinking that if you did a reverse and you guessed wrong and I had done a turn towards you, then you'd just be completely helpless. And so it didn't seem like you would want that possibility. So I was just hoping you went for it and you did. Yeah, nice. I, the, that was impressive. And the one forward is really impressive because if I didn't back up, that was. Yeah, I, I figured even if I went off some... the board, it, would, it wouldn't it would matter. Yeah, Cause there's true. A western. <laughs> All right. Well, good game. All right, good game. You too. Thanks very much. All right, I will uh, uh, so talk to Joseph, you, I'm sure, very soon. Yeah. Jeff, so uh, that actually does close it out, folks. Uh, Jeff wins a score of 50 to 22. Um, and that's pretty much it for today. Uh, thank everybody. Thank you, everybody, for joining me. Uh, give us a follow on Twitch. We need those follows. Um, thanks for great commentary. But for now, dial us down and make you. Be generous with your dice. <coughs> your dice. Pardon me. Not everybody.